and moving forward in the 21 day jump start level up challenge, okay? Who here did the five day reset? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, okay? And how, what are we down in, in pounds? Four pounds. Four, four. Four, five, eights, threes. Four pounds and three inches. Three inches, okay. Good job, Terry. Which is great. Obviously, we know the five days was 100% effort to make those things happen. Now, what do we do whenever we have progress moving forward? How do we sustain progress? 80-20, we go back to this 80-20 rule. I know that we're all super excited that we did such a good job for five days but that does not mean that we should go have burgers and pizza and biscuits and gravy for the next six meals. <laughs> that means we go and enjoy a little bit of good food, but we still get some veggies on the side, right? If we have pizza, we have a slice of pizza with some greens. We get a burger, we get veggies on the side. We learn how to adjust and not, we don't wanna lose five pounds because we worked so hard and then gain five pounds back in two days, or by next Saturday, be back to where we were, because we just said, well, that's five days, and now I'm not gonna pay attention at all. Saying that, moving into the 21-day challenge, if we could lose those numbers in five days with 100% effort, imagine if we took 21 days at 90% effort, right? And that's what that 21 days is like. That 21 days is not saying eat literally perfect three times a day for five days, it's saying, Here's how we can eat as optimal as possible while still making some sacrifices here and there, but managing and learning by doing it for three weeks. So those that did the five-day reset or didn't do, think about the 21-day as an extended version of that that's not quite as intense, but it's still a challenge. Okay, It's a long list of foods. There's plenty of recipes. Um, but more importantly, those that did the five-day reset, the accountability of the emails in the group were really, really helpful, right? Yeah. Well, the 21 day challenge, that's the biggest benefit of the 21 day challenge. It's not what to eat. We all know what to eat. It's having the accountability and the support to be able to actually do it for 21 days. And whenever you get inside of a group setting and you commit yourself, there's another level of social pressure and social accountability that is way more than me telling you what to do when you have other people doing it and people that are your friends with doing it, then you're like, man, if I slack, Susie's gonna let me know, right? So having that level of accountability, that's where we get into progress. Is 21 days gonna fix your problems? No. no. Is 21 days gonna get you to the body that you want? No, but we have to start somewhere, right? Or we have to, uh, we have to get going again somewhere. So that's what the five day was and 21 day is gonna be that. It's gonna be get going, putting yourself into a direction and then after the 21 days, it's going to be continued level of support and more coaching, coaching options, nutrition on like add on programming, more of these smaller, you know, 21, 28 day, five week, six week things to keep ourselves accountable. We all know what to eat. Right, we all know what to eat. So that's not the issue. The issue is actually doing it. And if the, the little things of, well, if I go here, what do I do? Well, this is how you manage the day. This is how you manage the meal, right? So we'll be sending out emails and making updates in the group and sending out links, all that stuff. I th current members, it's, uh, current members, it's $97 for three weeks. If you refer anybody, to the non-member, right? You get yours for free. So every referral you give, or the referral you give, you get that program for free. The other referral is gonna be an online or in-house version. That will be 167. And that will be three weeks in here or three weeks online of the same 21 day challenge plus the workouts, plus the power pack. And we'll be having a kind of like how to meeting next Saturday about kind of a presentation over the 21 day challenge just to answer questions and get it paint a really clear picture of what we send out in the email. Cool? Solid? Next Saturday.
I'll update on time. Any questions? Any questions about the 21 day? Anything that the five dayers want to say about the five day reset? It was great. Okay? Yeah. It wasn't Good. awful. It wasn't as awful as we thought it would be awful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sometimes, like, we love just working on being stronger, more durable human beings. Like, that's what, that's what we love doing in here, right? And that's what we're good at in here. And that's the purpose of in here is becoming strong and durable. But body composition change happens outside of here. And sometimes we just have to have another layer of coaching, another layer of systems to make that happen. And that's what it's there for, right? And it's going to be hard. It's not going to be easy. Yeah, it's not easy. Yeah. Cool. Good job. So Good on job. The 80, on the 80-20, if you were going to have alcohol. 80-20 alcohol, the basically the 80-20 alcohol is you want to stick to the 80-20 rule with alcohol. You want to stick to the simplest forms of alcohol because they're the least caloric, right? Good wine, straight whiskey, right? Vodka sodas, like those are the least caloric dense versions of drinks. So that's where we can manage. And then volume is obviously gonna be the next thing. You're basically at like a two, maybe three drink over under. We've done uh, multiple weeks of weigh-ins with having two drinks, six drinks, eight drinks, and the over under on two drinks. If you have more than two drinks, it will take you three days into the next week before your body wants to start losing weight again. So if you're having more than two drinks on the weekend, it's gonna take you through Wednesday before your body wants to progress in a calorie deficit. Don't really know what's happening there, it's a little bit of bro science, but we've measured it. And two drinks doesn't affect it. Three or four drinks does affect it. That's the total volume of drinks, two, two drinks, not just like two at a meal, but two at the next one, right? So yeah, I mean, you're looking at maybe, um, when you're looking at like what your liver can metabolize, you're looking at like a 24 hour window. Well, that's again, a little bit of bro science. But if you have two drinks on Saturday and two drinks on Sunday, four total drinks, right? That's not as good as two total, but that's the best way to manage it is to keep it to two. Yeah. I know that's not easy. And that's, hey, if you got something going on and you wanna have three or four or five drinks, by all means, go ahead. But understand what's gonna happen and understand that you're putting a pause on your progress. And if you're okay with that, great. Right, or another way to somewhat-ish manage the alcohol a little better is eat exactly like the five days and act your drink with it. Yeah, because, you can. Yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. If you have a meal and it's supposed to have protein, like veggies. protein, veggie, and carbohydrate in your meal, and it's going to be whatever carbohydrate, but you know you're having glasses of wine, <laughs> pull the carbs out of your meal. Yeah. I mean, right. it helps like at least balance your calorie intake a little bit. Okay. Well, it's not it's a drunk. Yeah, and what? and you get drunker faster. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this gets right to it. You get less stuff to absorb alcohol. I like the, the rule of drink the shit straight because you're not adding the stuff with it. So okay, that's it. Okay.